Hi, it's the Broker That Gratitude Guy. I'm here today with my good friend Leah Fritz, who's a financial coach and the owner of several businesses and has become a very good friend of mine. And we're here to find out about gratitude in her life. So, Leah, what are you grateful for? I thought about this all weekend after you and I had this conversation and what I'm truly, truly grateful for, especially this year, is new beginnings. And something that I realized this weekend is you can just be having that crunchy day that you go, God, is this going to be permanent? I feel like it's permanent. And I stop myself and rethink myself, talk and think, no, it's not permanent. Tomorrow is a new day. I get new beginnings. If I wanted to, in an hour, I get new beginnings. It's completely temporary and success is right around the corner. So, now, And I, I love that. And of course, I must ask you, what does crunchy mean? I love that word. <laughs> is that like a candy bar? Crunchy is a word that my good friend Aaron Jack invented, and it's for things that just make you feel icky. They make you feel uh, anxiety, they make you feel just crunchy. They make you feel crunchy. It's <laughs> the best way I can describe it. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. So really new beginnings. New beginnings. Very good. Are Very absolutely good. what I'm grateful for. Excellent. Excellent. Keeps well, me going. <laughs> excellent. Well, there you go again. Another example of the many things that we can be grateful for. New beginnings, dealing with crunchy issues, you name it. One of the reasons why I talk so much about always having a gratitude journal or a daily chance to write down or think about everything that you're grateful for. Just yet another example from, uh, from Leah. So that's the latest one. We'll have another one for you later in the week. Have a grateful day and we'll talk to you later.